Let's talk Manchester City. Pep Guardiola said to his players, why don't you lot choose your captain? What do you make of that? Was well, a schoolboy now. <laughs> like, is this under 10s, under 11s? <laughs> the popular contest? I, I, listen, it's very difficult to, to criticise anything that Pep does because generally it turns to gold. But I absolutely, 100%, have no idea where this is coming from and what he thinks the outcome of this will be. When I read it, I kind of thought, you know, you check the date and you see if it's April 1st. It's just strange. It's just bizarre. Have you heard of this before? No, absolutely not. No, as I said, not, not unless it's a boys club. But. <laughs> and it does surprise me because, you know, a big club, uh, the captaincy is not, it's not just about what happens on the field. You know, it's a, to me, to be captain of a big club, you need to have, uh, have an aura. You need to have the respect of the players. You need to have the respect of everybody at the stadium. And that takes a certain type of player. So, so for the players to choose it, I can't come up with one good reason why the players would choose it. Why, why, you know, and again, the captain doesn't have to be the most popular guy or the most liked guy, but if on the field of play, where at the end of the day it really matters, he, he has an influence or a huge influence and he can change what's happening on the field and be that person, then he's got no chance of being the captain, which means you've got the wrong captain. Mm. You're clearly not a fan of this, understandably no. so. You mentioned someone that's got an aura, someone that's got the respect of others. Who's the captain of Man City then among the players that they've got? Who should be? Um, I, would, I would say somebody like Fernandinho would be the perfect example. You know, and in, for me, he plays in the perfect position. You know, um, company was a great captain and he played at the back. But for me, Fernandinho, you talk about the model of consistency, you can, you can tell that he carries the respect of everybody else on the field. He's the guy that can change things when, they're not, when it's not going well for Manchester City. He always seems to be, for me, the guy who changes it all. And so, again, perfect position. He's got a connection with the front. Mm -hmm. If something's going on at the front, isn't a problem to communicate. If something's going on at the back, it's not a problem to communicate. For me, it would be Fernandinho. Who was the best captain you played under? Um, I had two great captains. Um, the first one was Graham Souness. Uh, I was a lot younger at the time, uh, and so I kind of held him in more, of, in more of awe as much as anything else. You know, again, the guy you want standing next to you, the guy who's going to give you advice when you need it, uh, not just on the field, but off the field, uh, and a fantastic player. Uh, and a guy who had the respect of everybody in the dressing room and everybody in the stadium. Um, the other one was Alan Hansen. I mean, again, just played a similar, similar role. You know, was phenomenal on the field, uh, was there to help you on and off the field. Uh, again, had the respect of every single person and, and player at the club. Finally, I'm glad you mentioned Alan Hansen because after Kenny left Liverpool, Hansen pretended that he was going to be in charge. He did, yeah. He also asked you to be his captain. Tell me that story. Well, all I'll tell you is <laughs> there's, that I knew it was a wind-up. Did you, though? I absolutely... He said to me that you didn't know. Well, he would tell you that. Well, he wrote the forward he, to your book, and that's what he, he said. He would tell you that because he probably wound me up a thousand times. He didn't get you that time. And he got me 999 and times. that was the one time that you... That was the one time that I knew that he was up to something. Why did you know? What gave it away? Well, because we used to have, we used to have a carry on and, and when, when people in the TV, when they're talking about the teams, would say, you know, we're all in this together. It was kind of a cheesy, hammy thing to say. And he came out with it when he was talking to me about being the captain. And that's, that's the only reason why I didn't believe him. But did you believe he was going to be the replacement for Kenny? I don't know, I can't answer that. I don't really know. I think you did. He told me you did. No, of course he told you he did. <laughs> and, you, and by the way, the worst thing is you believed him, like me. Every time he opened his mouth, I believed him. And you've done the same thing. Not saying anything. You believe every word. From Hanson? I can assure you. So did you. Don't. Okay. Yeah, look what it got me. <laughs> oh yeah, Man City's captain. Who's it going to be next? Not Alan Hanson or mm. Stevie Nicholl.